Hello, welcome to our class again. This time we're going to talk about explanation texts. Well, you must have ever read or listened to texts about how rain happens, how photosynthesis takes place, how to make law, the process of digesting food, and how fish breeds. There are examples of explanation text topics. Please read an example of an explanation text. How fish breathe. Different from mammals, which use lungs, fish use gills to breathe. They use gills to remove oxygen from water and absorb it into their body. Without these organs, living underwater is impossible for fish. A gill is a feathery organ full of blood vessels. They are located in the head part of a fish, behind the cheeks. The water gets through the openings on the cheeks which are covered by gill covers. A fish breathes by taking water into its mouth and forcing it out through the gill passages. The blood passing through the gills is pumped in the opposite direction of the water flowing over the gills. This allows the blood oxygen level to be less than the oxygen level in the water. Oxygen will always want to move to wherever lacks oxygen. This is also known as diffusion. The oxygen can then attach to hemoglobin, a protein in red blood cells that distributes oxygen throughout the body. As water passes over the thin walls of the gills, dissolved oxygen moves into the blood and travels to the fish's cells. Gills are very important for fish. The respiratory organs help fish skim oxygen from water to keep them alive. This is one of many amazing things found in nature. Let's analyze the text. This text contains three parts. The introduction, explanations, and conclusions. The introduction is what the text is about. It contains general statement, which states the phenomenon issues which are to be explained. In this paragraph 1, we can understand that the general statement is the second sentence. They use gills to remove oxygen from water. The second part is the explanation. In this part, we can find the description of properties and also the organization of how the process of how gills take oxygen from water. So, the property described here is the property of a gill, which is a feathery organ full of blood vessels. And then the process is... The process of how the gill absorb oxygen from the water. And then the last part is the conclusion, which is the summary or a restated general statement. It also includes comments on the significance or importance of what has been explained. Therefore, we can conclude that the generic structure of explanation text contains introduction, what is the text about, explanation, which includes a description of its history, properties, etc. And also the organization stating a series of steps which explains the phenomena. And then the last part is the conclusion, which is a summary or a stated statement. What is the conclusion? We can conclude that the paragraph structure of explanation text is First, the definition of explanation text. It is a text about how things happen or take place, such as natural, social, scientific, and cultural phenomena. It is often found in science, geography, and history textbooks. The generic structure of explanation text it contains introduction, explanation, and conclusion. 
The purpose of explanation text is to explain how things happen or take place. And the topics are about natural, social, scientific, and cultural phenomena. The language features of explanation texts are using simple present tense, using abstract noun or non-visible noun, using passive voice, using action verbs, and containing explanations of the process. Now, I believe you can write your own explanation text. Choose your own topic. For example, how rain happens, how tornado occurs, how photosynthesis happens, the process of harvesting coffee, and other things that you might be interested in. That's all for today. Thank you for your attention. Be kind, be happy. God bless all.